We previously created a timer program. When I click the green flag, the timer proceeds until I press the spacebar. Now, if uh, we would like to extend this so that we can record minutes as well as seconds, we'll begin by adding a new variable, and we're going to call that minutes. Now, at this point, uh, I've got minutes as well as seconds. So our um, way of adding minutes essentially lets us check to see when we've reached 60 seconds. We'll do that with an if statement, which is found under the control palette. And then I'll need to go to the operators palette. And I'll say if the uh, seconds are equal to 60, and I'm going to drag the seconds variable right into here, and then add 60, then I need to tell it what to do. And so the first thing I want to do is set the seconds back to zero, and then I'll need to change the minutes by one. So now we're going to just drop this in at the bottom of the forever loop, and uh, when we let the program run, it will take a minute before we get there. But eventually, when we count up to 59, we'll then, at the 60th second, reset the seconds to zero and increase the minutes count to one. The if statement uh, is at the heart of most of programming. Uh, it's a conditional statement that says, if this happens, then do that. Many of the if statements will rely on variables to keep track of when a condition is changed. In this case, the condition is the, the seconds reaching 60 seconds. The uh, operator's palette is shown in green, and we'll often want to compare things using operators or also do addition and subtraction. Uh, under the operator's palette. So here we go, 59, 60, and now we're resetting it so that we now have one minute and seven seconds. So we've extended our counter uh, to include both minutes and seconds. I'll, now at this point, I should go up and save my program so that I'll have this feature saved as well.